the wild woman's superpower of staying awake. Why is it a superpower? Well, hmm. you'd have to watch to find out. Yeah, you do. It's me, Elizabeth McLeod, author and illustrator of The Wild and Mystery Cars, founder of Wild Women Enchanted, and teacher and student of all things magical. I love that introduction, seriously. Man. <laughs> this woman's just magic, and she writes pretty much amazing language. Amazing language. <laughs> anyway, I'm Sarah Sahota, and I am a speaker and a life artist. And I love that introduction because that is what you are. Thank you. We're here today to talk about the Wild Women Superpowers. We are on the fourth Wild Women Superpower this week, and we are talking about the superpower of staying awake. Why is it important? Well, because we tend to sleepwalk in our lives. We become sheeples. When we talk about staying awake, well, what does that mean? What does that mean? Well, it means consciousness. And we use the word consciousness, or I use the word consciousness, and you can tell me what you think about this, Sarah. I find that mindfulness for me I don't like to use that word because I'm suspicious of the mind. So I'm, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, we should be mindlessness more <laughs> often. <laughs> In terms of finding our purpose or finding our way when we're lost, we need to be awake to find our way back. If you lose your way or can't find your purpose, or if you are confused, or just lost your energy, you know that something has come along and tugged upon your soul in a way that takes the life out of you. You know then, work needs to be done, and it takes some staying power to do so. You know you can no longer sleepwalk through your day. Wild Woman knows that once she has tasted her conscious self, that she can never really turn back for long. She knows this is where joy waits for her, and a widening of the taste of her soul destiny is what she yearns for. You know, what's showing up for me really loud is, you know, it takes being awake to know you're not awake. <laughs> you know, like being aware and conscious yeah. of yeah. your awakeness or yeah. your consciousness yes. is, a, is a highly honed skill. It's a highly honed skill. Yeah. And it's really easy to go to sleep. It's so easy. And it's really easy to sleepwalk through our day. Then we end up going, oh, well, you know, I don't, I feel bored or I don't really know what I want to do or I'm not feeling happy. Yeah. Well, we've fallen asleep. Yeah. And, and then you know, we need to activate those superpowers. Yeah. And the more and more conscious we are, the more and more being asleep is going to feel like a misalignment. Being asleep is going to be so uncomfortable. Yeah. Ten times more uncomfortable. And it's going, you're, it's going to take your skill, your superpower, to bring it to the table, to be, to come back to awake. Yes, and it's a good time, that would be a good time to use the superpower, as we talked in the previous episode, of spirit tracking. Yeah. So that you can see how it is that you're moving along, so that you can make the adjustments that you need to make. And then the superpower of creativity, to create something that will be interesting to you, that will bring the joy back yeah. into your world. Yes. All of these things come together, like they're individual, yeah. but they're all working together at the same yeah. time. And some are going to sort of hit you a little bit more than others, but all are really super important. Super yeah, important. Yeah, super important. Let's pull a card. Let's see. Let's see what it is about staying awake that we need to know. Mm -hmm. Oh, the void. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the vo oh wow, the void is the card where it's like, um, well, we get afraid of it because it's a place of nothing, right? right. So when we're in that empty space, when we're sort of in that, um, that place where there's that space, then spirit can whisper sweet nothings in our ear. That's a good time to spirit track and a good time to actually come back to this place of being awake because our spirit can actually talk to us in this place. Yeah. So let's say, what do we need if we're feeling sort of nervous of the void? Balance. And did you notice it came upside down, right? Balance. balance. Boom. Yeah. There she is, balance, you know, yeah. and there's two moons in this one. The two moons, because there's we're always balancing many different things. Always. It's yeah. always, you know, it's it's there's there's no one thing that we're trying to do. And if we can stay balanced, like the surfer on the board, you know, he has to ride the wave. Yeah. And when we're staying awake, we get to ride that wave better. We actually know, oh, the curl's coming. Yeah. Oh, we oh we can we can back off. Oh, need to totally. This is exactly muscles. it. Yeah. And you know, I think that 
a lot of people throw around the word balance mm -hmm. and it's like this place that we'd love to get to mm -hmm. where we're static right. you know and I love your analogy of surfing on the wave with mm -hmm. the surfers because the you never get to the wave and you get balanced and then balance is stagnant no you, you have know? to stay awake in order yeah. to ride that wave yeah, yeah it's, a, it's actually absolutely crucial absolutely and that is power that is power. If you can ride that wave, that is power. Have you ever seen a surfer like you know when you see them, the big waves come oh, and they just then they ride it and, it's they, just, so and sexy. Then they get it. Oh, and they get oh. right in there and then they go inside the car. And they just the duck wave. down. They're like, yeah, let's hang out. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're hanging we're out. We're riding that wave. We're hanging out. We're sexy. Yeah, right. We're all these things, right? Yeah. We're really doing it. Yeah. We're really living our life. Yeah. And that's what staying away can do. You can ride that wave like nobody else can. Right? Yes. Yeah, like if your bathing suit falls off, it's oh. like, oops. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah, that was planned. <laughs> that's my uniqueness. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and let's pull a card. And body temple. Yeah, that's my favorite funny. card. So body temple is really listening to our body knowing what path it's it's forming for us and following the, what she teaches us all the time. Join us in the comments below because I would love to hear what you are awake with and what's working for you with this particular superpower. How do you stay awake? Yeah. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss one of these episodes. I'll see you later. Bye! Bye.